Hey guys, welcome to another Reaper blog tutorial. Got a really, really quick tip for you today. It's a action called transport play skip time selection. It's kind of a weird thing. Like why would you want to skip the selection? Usually you want to play what's in the selection. I have kind of a perfect example of this. So I'm editing some dialogue for the latest Q and A video number 18, and I'm doing my read and I keep messing up in this spot, but I found a spot where I can make an edit and then continue on, and it actually works really seamlessly. So I wanted to show you this action. This is the part I'm going to keep. This is the part I'm going to keep. And let's just play how it is. Work so much better. And if you compare price, and if you compare the price per square foot, if you compare price per square foot, it's usually a lot cheaper as well. All right. So I'm going to double click in the ruler to create my time selection between these two regions. I'm going to move my cursor back a little bit. And let's run this action transport play skip time selection. It's going to work so much better. And if you compare price per square foot, it's usually a lot cheaper as well. So that's a pretty seamless edit. And I can fine tune that by nudging the audio a little bit earlier on the edit. But hopefully this gives you an idea of how to edit phrases from different takes together, make them sound seamless. Uh, how to audition that without having to actually do the editing, um, because I'm not doing the editing. I'm just choosing the best bits at this time. And this action I've been using a few times today, and it's been really helpful. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Support with Patreon and visit reaperblog.net for a lot more tutorials.